Hello and welcome to this webinar on Sweet CRM email campaigning. It's a big subject and I'm not going to go the A to Z through on it. We'll have a look at the main topics, get you started. Uh, if you want to see more information, go and read the documentation, which is on the main website. So find out the, the marketing functions in the marketing menu. And there's three main components to be aware of. Campaigns, which is their campaigns, email campaigns. Um, there's targets. Targets are if you buy a list, so you buy a, a list of 20,000 people, load it into targets. Uh, targets, you don't want flooding your main CRM. You just want them to be available for things like email campaigns. Target lists, on the other hand, are the lists of people you are going to send emails to. So let's go and look at them to begin with. So target lists, it's saying no results found. Um, create a target list and we're going to create a monthly newsletter. And it's a type default and we'll have a look at some more types in a moment and we'll just save that. It tells us here we've got no entries in it, that's fine, we'll populate it in a minute. So in effect we've got no to send emails to. So we'll create another target list. I and mean, this time we're going to take uh, create a, a test list. Now you should do a test list. Uh, the test lists are, are vitally important. If you're going to send out a, a, an email blast to 20,000 people, you want to make sure there are no spelling mistakes or anything like that in it before it goes out. So this gives you the opportunity to test before you send. So let's just go, there's my test list, it's been created, no entries. I'm now just going to go and add an entry into it. I'm going to use a user and I'm going to use myself. I'm logged in as Will Weston over here. This is just the demo system. So I'll go and select and add Will to that. So Will's now on that and if I go and look at the test list again, you'll now see I've got one person on it. Okay, now if we look at the target list, we've now got two target lists, monthly newsletter and test. We know we don't have any people in the monthly newsletter. Clicking on it will tell us. So there are three ways of, of getting people in. You can import them. I'm not going to do that today. Um, you can run a report where you can be very selective about the criteria you want to use to select people. Or you can just go to the, the main people objects in Suite CRM, things like leads, contacts, accounts. So I'm going to go to, to leads and uh, there are a few things I can do. It's telling me here I've got a filter. If you see a, a red cross it tells you you've already got a filter on it. So I'm going to kill the filter and it's saying I've got 201 records tells me over here. Now I can be very, just give me everybody, I can go select all of those guys then go to the bulk action and add them to a target list. Or I could be a little bit selective and I could go to the the, the filters that are available, go to the advanced filters and say show me everybody whose city begins with San. And now you see instead of having 200 we've got 78. So we're going to email everybody in a city whose name begins with San. Don't ask me why. But we'll go select them all Go to the bulk action and we'll add it to a target list. And that we're going to add it to the monthly newsletter target list. Okay. Now if I go back here, all of your recent actions get saved in the left hand sidebar. If I go back to the monthly newsletter, you'll now see I've got 78 people on it. So those are the people we've added. Okay. So let's not go back to marketing. We go to campaigns. We're now going to get to the serious business. Saying we don't have any campaign set up, so let's go create one. It's asking what kind of campaign. Well, for the sake of this demo, we're just going to do a newsletter. I'm not going to go into the differences between them again, read the documentation. So we'll go newsletter and monthly newsletter. Oops, newsletter. 
uh, status. It's not planning anymore. It's actually active. It's assigned to me. Now, if I've bought a list or I've spent money on advertising, I may want to put the budget in here so we can track uh, income against expenditure, but I'm not going to do that. And you can see here, this leads you through the, the, the progress of your campaign. So this stage was setting up the campaign header. Click on next, take us to next, and we move to subscriptions. And it's asking us here, who are we going to send this to? Well, the subscription list we already set up. That was the monthly newsletter list. So let's go grab that. The test list we already set up. So let's go grab that. And the unsubscription list. Now, the unsubscription list is every email legally you have to give people the opportunity to unsubscribe. And the unsubscription list manages that. So when somebody unsubscribes, they are added to the unsubscription list. Now, I haven't created one, so we'll just use a default one. And it will just go and create it for you. Okay, you can see created in here. So let's now go to next. Now, the next is all about the, the email template itself. So this is the information you're going to send out to people, the newsletter. And you can select an existing template. I don't have one. Uh, create a brand new template or copy an existing template. Well, we, well, let's create a brand new template and we'll call it monthly newsletter. And I'll save that. Now let's just go create the, the, the newsletter. So down here we have our template creating tools. So we might want to stick our headline in here, stick some text in here, and have a, a, a small image in here. So let's just go and change that. We'll say welcome to our newsletter. Um, We're going to do this monthly. Now, you know, you, you get the the, the 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 workings of it. It's very simple. Um, and if you want to add an image, just click on the image, go here, and you can use an image that, that that's in a library, or you just go click, and I'll go and grab one from my local disk. And I don't want to constrain it, I just want to take it as it is. And there it is, there's the image inserted into the, the campaign. Now, quite often when you're doing um, email campaigns, you want to track click-throughs. So, very easy to do in Sweet CRM. Um, we'll create a tracker up here, they're called tracker URLs. So if I create a tracker, and the scenario is we're launching a new website, so we want people to click here to visit new website. Okay, very simple. And then the URL is http colon www dot new website on new site com. Okay, I will create the tracker. Very simple. Clear to create the tracker there. And I'm going to create another tracker. Legally, you have to give people the, the, the ability to opt out. So let's create that tracker. Create the tracker. and say an opt out. Click here to opt out. Um, and opt out link automatically creates the entry for you create tracker so we've now got two trackers in here okay one for the 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 click through the record and one to unsubscribe uh, we also have the ability to personalize the emails so if i say here um, that i want to uh, let's actually delete this because I'm in a mess of it. And uh, I'm just going to put in one of these. I'll get rid of that. I don't want a title. I just want to say Dear Greg or Dear Fred. So, um, Dear. And then up here I can personalize it and say this thing uh, we can choose from Contact Leader Target. 
fields we want to choose. I want to choose first name. Uh, insert that variable and now it's going to put dear whoever. Welcome to our email newsletter. And then I'm going to put the next section in here. We'll put the, the image in there. Go browse for it. Sweet icon. Stick it in. I don't want to constrain it again. Just let it be natural. Exciting news about sweet CRM. Okay. Da -de -da -de -da. So we, we've got all of that. Last thing. This is the subject. The subject is what people will see in their email in tray inbox. So let's put a subject in a sweet CRM newsletter. Okay. We'll go save that. And then we click on next. So we just reprise where we've been. We created the campaign header. We created the target list and we associated the target list with the, the, the campaign. We've now created the template. The next bit is the actual marketing part of it. So in here, uh, the marketing email name is for identification purposes. So we'll put monthly newsletter. Letter. Um, bounce handling accounts is so that if, if uh, an email gets sent out and it bounces, you need to be able to monitor those and take them off your next uh, email campaign. So it's asking you what outgoing email account or marketing account. As soon as you choose your bounce handling account, it will populate these fields here. Now this is for system administrators to set up and you should refer to your own system administrator for, for all of the information in there. The last part you've got to fill in here is when are you going to send this? So schedule date and time, mandatory field. So let's just go select it. Tomorrow, I'll just take the five o'clock. It's got all the other information. I should just be able to go next. And it's good to go. It goes and it does a sanity check. It's uh, saying it's going to send out the marketing newsletter. Um, I haven't set up. I'm, I'm, I haven't set up the 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 outbound email, so it's giving me a warning here. Uh, again, if you see something like that, speak to your system administrator. So it's saying campaign details and conditions are fine. The targets are fine. Templates are fine. Sender details are fine. Process. Uh, uh, campaign e emails. So I, I, I haven't actually done that yet. So the first thing I would do is I would send this out as a test. Okay, click on send test and it will send the test. If you actually just want to send it, click on send mail at scheduled time. View the status and then view status it will tell you it sent one. That was my um, test. Uh, hasn't sent anything else. There have been no opt-outs, no click-throughs. Not surprising. Uh, in the message queue, we've got the 78 emails that we sent in there. And viewed message, click-through, message sent, attempted. It's told me that it sent out the, 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 the test. Now, there is a lot more in here, but that's hopefully enough just to give you uh, a, an overview of the campaign functionality. I urge you to go read the documentation for more details. This is very powerful, it's very flexible, and it gives you a lot of feedback. Thanks for listening. Bye.